All right. How about you guys uh, introduce yourselves? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, hey, everyone. I'm Everdice. Uh, I was basically the main programmer on um, Dubjan, this game jam. This is actually a first game jam. Uh, I'll let Fresh Panda introduce himself. But uh, both Fresh Panda and myself uh, actually develop video games for a living. Not as indie developers, but we work in video game, video game companies. Uh, currently, we are actually acting producers uh, in a video game development. So, uh, yeah, but that, that's a, our first attempt as uh, a, an actual indie game competition. So uh, it was uh, extremely in like a bunch of aspects. So, yeah, I'll let Rash Panda take it for his, his part. Hello, guys. So I'm Rash Panda, and I'm the main artist on the on Dabjan. I also did uh, a good part, uh, like half of the uh, levels. So sorry for level four and uh, eight <laughs> for the one who gets uh, stuck on the this one. And uh, in professor uh, professional life, I'm the associate producer of uh, uh, Everdice. So he uh, commands me every day. It's not easy. <laughs> We've got a, a bit of a. Um... Rash Panda, you sound a little quiet, and Everdice, you sound a little loud. So, oh. okay. yeah. Is that better? Uh, still a little loud. If you I can turn the gain on mic in my mouth. Okay. Uh, I'm trying, think... trying to get the mic a bit, uh, a bit further. Hey, that's sounding better. Okay. Um, chat, please let us know, and uh, if further adjustments are necessary, we'll make them. Um, Okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to refresh the page because I'd like to try to start from the beginning. This game is hard as heck. Uh, that's as far as I made when I played through. Uh, I guess it saved my... There we go. Back to the beginning. That's probably a bit more my speed. Um, why don't you tell you guys tell me a bit about how you uh, decided on what you were going to make for the jam? Sure. Um, so, well, first of all, um, Fresh Pan and myself were physically together uh, during the game jam, so we were basically in the same place, with, which helped a lot with coordination. Uh, so once the team dropped, we just started brainstorming. And, uh, it was pretty interesting because we both had pretty different approaches. Basically, Rash Panda, who has a more uh, artistic feel and approach in general, he was more thinking about actual things in real life or in fiction that could be or are usually in, out of control. Uh, magic could be out of control. Uh, a zombie apocalypse is out of control. A uh, berserker is out of control. Music is out of control to some extent or some kind of music. And I was definitely more on a concept or mechanical standpoint, basically. What kind of gameplay or game feel matches uh, that team. So that was pretty complimentary. So that's basically how we came up with the main mechanic, which was uh, that idea. Uh, originally, by the way, the main mechanic was uh, we, in the original startings of the brainstorming, it was more complex, where basically you had that, uh, that madness gate and it would get your character more and more out of control. And you would have different kinds of obstacles that require you to be at different levels of madness. But uh, in that original idea, you would also have to get your madness down at some points to get through up. For example, you could imagine some kind of different mushroom that just, just kills you if you are, just takes you away if you are at uh, too high madness. Uh, so yeah, we, we started brainstorming around that, and then we simplified the idea as we went. Uh, yeah, level five, not not that easy. <laughs> yeah, I think you probably I've... need to take it very slowly. I think I've reached my limit here. Uh, these these th th this this one platform right here. I have slipped off of this so many times when trying to beat this level. Um, the acceleration on the character is pretty extreme. Do you feel like you might tune that down in a later release of the game? It's uh, th that's a really interesting question because, uh, of course, uh, as you probably have seen, and, and it's pretty obvious, uh, one of the main feedback we, we generally had really, really positive feedback on Dubjan, but uh, the main negative feedback was it's too hard. And uh, there are several ways to look at it. We could, of course, tune the character controller so it's 
more controllable, less slippery, so there is less inertia, less movement smoothing. Bunch of stuff we could do in the code itself, or just tweaking some variables to make it generally easier to control. But we can also just look at it from a first time user experience and just uh, player learning curve uh, standpoint, because uh, I think one of the main problems really is a learning curve. Level two teaches you you have to reach high-ish levels of madness to beat some levels. And then pretty soon you get some levels with precise platforming. It shouldn't ever happen before we've properly te teach the player how to control his air, air movement, uh, how much he jumps at each level of madness. We actually manage, imagined a bunch of different levels we could have made just to teach the player how much are you jumping exactly when you press the button that much exactly. Uh, at this or that level of madness. So it's not clear whether the funniest would be to just take the, the character controller. Well done. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> uh, well, I, I don't know if we should just um, make it more controllable. Uh, that That's definitely on the table. Or just uh, teach the player better and make a difficulty curve that makes it so that like the first 10 levels are just about making sure that you're up to speed as a player. And then you can you can ramp up difficult. So maybe it's a bit of both we need to do, but it, it's definitely too hard as it is. I think that, um, yeah, there's a lot that you can do by just inserting a few more levels uh, to give the player just a little bit more familiarity with the controls. Um, but for my part, the, the only thing that I would change about the level design of the fifth level in particular is that one narrow platform right near the beginning, because your character beyond a certain point of madness, and it's not even that many hits, you accelerate so quickly that you almost snap to either side of that platform and becomes nearly impossible to land on unless you're a really experienced player. So definitely keeping a challenge like that for later in the game would be my recommendation. Yeah, I completely agree with you on that point. Uh, yeah, I didn't even mention that, but it goes without saying that it, whether we tweak the character controller or go with better uh, learning curve or both, it also have to just tweak a bunch of details in most of these levels. I mean, they some of them, some of the later levels are actually too easy, and uh, most of the earlier levels have uh, just those tiny details, as you mentioned, which don't make sense from a different sense at that point. Um, Something that I don't see a lot of players doing either, but I've seen some streamers do it and they do formidably well uh, all of a sudden, is jumping vertically and then moving, which is something we just don't teach the player. Then mm -hmm. players just, just assume that they should jump as in most platformers diagonally, like you press forward and jump at the same time. And some precise platforming often is much easier when you just jump and then move ever so slightly the exact amount that you because uh, your horizontal movement is actually pretty controllable me there. It's, it's the same as your ground movement, just a bit slower. Mm. Yeah, I would say <laughs> it's not that you can't learn it, but it just becomes, oh boy. <laughs> I, I remember, I think the thing that convinced me that this game maybe is a little too hard was watching a YouTube video that you guys put out of it, where even in the video I was seeing... Uh, I think there's a death, there's a restart at one point. It's just, it's a very difficult game. So uh, as long as you guys aren't cool with the idea of making some adjustments to it, as as everyone has to, right, with these game jam games, there's, there's always a necessity to uh, tune the difficulty of these things because that's the hardest thing to get right, uh, as has come up so many times during the stream today. Um, actually, why don't we talk a bit about the actual development process for the game? So the development process, uh, as we mentioned at the beginning, we basically I did uh, the programming, um, Rash Panda did all the art, and then we split. Design was mostly brainstorming and prototyping and experimenting. Basically, I'd say two hours in after the team had dropped, uh, we had a, a hefty idea in mind, and we, we knew enough so that we could start prototyping very basic uh, gameplay bricks, such as just a basic char character controller, just figuring out what in Unity we would be using exactly to build the levels, and uh, just, just trying to figure out our base 
um, prototyping brick. And uh, then we, we just split the work in that obvious way according to our skill sets and uh, we'd keep iterating on the mechanics at some point we had a dash mechanic that we tried to implement and uh, it was even crazier than everything we currently have in the game so we removed it it was very hard to tune uh, we, we just kept removing and adding stuff uh, until we thought it was uh, sufficient to some extent we both built uh, a bunch of the levels uh, we, it was almost 50 50 um and we, we all we both play tested a lot too and uh, something we didn't realize was that we were just uh, assuming that some of these mechanics like controlling your jump to a very precise extent we were assuming that was obvious and it just wasn't at all so these early levels uh, level four five uh to, for us they were easy at that point in time and then when the stream started kicking in we just we just Notice that nine people out of ten would have a lot of trouble with those levels. So it was definitely objectively not not the good level. So yeah, we, we did a lot of playtesting, both of us together. And uh, by the way, a lot of more difficult levels than these were designed at points, and uh, one of us just couldn't complete it. Basically, it was uh, Rash Panda designed the level. I tried it like ten ten times, and he was like, "No, it, it's easy. I could beat it." And uh, we just tweaked them or removed. Um, but yeah, it was mostly the way we were. That is uh, very merciful of you. I'm glad that uh, you <laughs> didn't subject uh, people to even uh, challenges that one of the developers couldn't beat. Um, <laughs> In the uh, in the process of development, was there a uh, like a hack or a shortcut that you had to use just to get it to work in the time limit that you had? Just a second, sorry my phone so yes uh, hacks well a shit ton of hacks actually uh, on the development side not a lot of specific hacks i'd say it's just a bunch of spaghetti code and uh, hard-coded literals everywhere and uh, of course at some point you have that script that that had a very specific uh, design or goal like it's a level manager and it manages level transitions or whatever but then you just figure it's going to be five minutes faster if you just shove something that has nothing to do with it inside the level manager instead of properly making a class for it so uh, so yeah it's just uh, the whole code is really messy and pretty lame we, we also try to use as much uh, of unity's power as we could that was already built in for example just building the levels with the uh, built-in tile map system that just allows you to drag and drop stuff in the scene and it, it's it just it creates the colliders automatically and it's super easy um that so yeah just the classic hacks that i think most people use and um one, one sort of different kind of hack that uh, we used was also on the art side basically uh, some people have asked us like why, why is it a potato slime or and why are there mushrooms why mushrooms and uh the the funny answer to that is that there isn't actually a great reason from a lore standpoint other than rash panda felt he would be able to make goofy animations and characters pretty easily uh, with these uh, with these concepts, and uh, at first he, 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 there were goblins and uh, berserkers and more complex stuff, especially anatomically. And then we just transitioned towards well done, good job. <laughs> that level is hell, by the way. I have a lot of trouble with level eight. Um, and um, yeah, we we sort of hacked uh, the art production time by picking concepts that were very easy to draw and animate. Nice. Well, yeah, I, I think it's like, it's weird, but it's cohesive. Like it, it doesn't feel out of place. If anything, I feel like the mushrooms contributing to madness is, uh, I don't know, that made sense to me. Yeah, it makes sense. And uh, it's, it's sort of feels natural as gamers were sort of used for two mushrooms of course there are the classics who use mushrooms there's mario but uh, in general i feel like it's something we see in games in general and uh, it's often harmful to some extent so it doesn't feel gamers are no strangers to mushrooms to some extent yeah. in, in the context of video games so uh, and slimes are the same right they're very familiar to gamers so uh, it's uh, it's just something you recognize. You don't even want to know why a slime is in a mushroom place specifically. I mean, it's just a world where there is a slime and mushrooms, and, and this just could work. 
Man, uh, this I the funny thing is when I was twelve years old, I made a game with uh, very floaty platforming controls, and I got super used to uh, like carefully feathering the character like back and forth air control to land on very small platforms. That has barely prepared me for the challenges that I'm facing in this game. Um, <laughs> But uh, I think you've kind of touched upon this a little bit. Was there anything that you had to cut or change in order to finish the game on time? I know you mentioned the dash mechanic. Was there anything else? Uh, si since there is this um, madness, madness gauge mechanic, something that was important to us was adding a lot of juicy feedback as much as possible. So we didn't do as much as we wanted. Of course, we wanted to keep the game readable. Oh, God, that's painful. <laughs> it was so close. I didn't know the end was there. If I'd have just known the end was there, and if I just committed and held right, I would have made it. Oh, well. That, that's, a, that's really Diane retry. Um, so, yeah, we, we wanted to add some... Um, after images, for instance, on the character that intensify with madness levels, uh, nothing too easy as to not hinder visibility, but uh, there, there are effects we wanted to add. And uh, of course, level design. We, we basically, we built quite a few levels, actually, uh, within the time we had. There are 17 total. And um, we, we really didn't have time to reorder them or treat them basically in any shape or form. We just kept the ones that made sense and that we could manage to complete. And, uh, and that's the way we went. So yeah. uh, as far as mechanics, yeah, we, we had other ideas, especially that one about uh, having challenges that require you to. Uh, some people actually suggested that during streams and in the comments. And it's, it's I think it could be really fun about having mushrooms that actually get your magic is down like blue mushrooms something like that with soothing music something like that and uh, that could be a lot of fun oh played that's actually the biggest blocker for some reason level nine uh, we, we've seen very very few people get through level to get through to level 10 uh, we've seen like maybe these streamers I'd say do that and I know other people did that in the comments but, uh, yeah congratulations <laughs> well I appreciate uh, it I, I, I was kind of like when you when you said welcome to this level it's hell I was like oh well I mean I was so close to beating it on my second try and then I was like oh, maybe I can make it and then I, I just yeah anyway um, uh, so yeah were, was there anything else you wanted to talk about about features or are you ready to move on to the next question yeah no no that's that's pretty much it Cool. Uh, well, I'm going to throw it out to chat. If there are any questions that you have for the developers, please submit them now. And while I give them some time to get their questions in, uh, the last question I usually ask is, uh, what are your plans for this game going forward? Obviously, some difficulty tuning. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, we're not exactly sure uh, how much we're willing to to add to the game and how much time we'll still spend on it. Uh, so we'll get we're, we'll we're still figuring that out. Um, but uh, yeah, that was close too. <laughs> but um, yeah, definitely the, the first step is difficulty tweaks and uh, I guess still some tweaks to the character controller, at least to a small extent. Um, better introduction, better tutorials, and then adding levels, tweaking levels, adding levels, and probably adding two or three little mechanics that uh, come along with those levels too. Um, I guess that would be it. I, I don't see ourselves complexifying the game a lot. Oh, yeah, there is one thing that we really wanted to add uh, and uh, we didn't have time to add, by the way. Uh, it's the hardest level that you're in. Okay, I good to there. know. <laughs> by far. <laughs> by far. Um, yeah, what we really wanted to add to is a per level timer that you can get back to and you can just beat your record and compare to what you did because... Um, it seemed like it would take a bit more time to add if you wanted to save it per level than just a death counter. So we went with the simple death counter. But what the game really needs is a timer, just so that um, because it's super speed runnable, mm. and, uh, it, it's basically about speed to a large extent. So it would be interesting to see that oh, you were able to beat level twelve in like seven seconds. Uh, so yeah, that would definitely be something we'd add for if. You know, <laughs> well, if this is the hardest level, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to beat it on stream. Um, we do have a question in the chat here. What was the hardest thing that you felt you needed to get right? It's a great question. That is a great question. Um, I think it was, uh, it really was gameplay. Uh, at no point in time, it have been about uh, making a game that's um, 
how they put it uh that's about uh it's uh it's mood or or it's uh it's story uh it really had to be about that game feel and uh we, we really wanted to get that uh that juice there is a, there, we, we didn't to do enough of that but uh, there are those screen shakes and color changes and of course the speed changes and uh, the, the whole level gets faster and we really wanted to to get that feel of uh of um, game is going crazy on you um, and we, we really wanted that game feel it was really about just the game feel and the gameplay and uh how well it it would match that out of control feel not just the the team itself that you can reason in your mind that oh yeah th this makes sense with the out of control team uh, you had to feel out of control that that was the idea i'm executing that and uh, oh got a bit of trouble can still hear me all right uh -huh. or you're cutting here on my end okay uh, let's see i'm going to close the game for now maybe that'll help a tiny bit um i just wanted to say as we up uh is there any um you want to give a shout out to any social media accounts you want to plug we'll reopen that so i can scroll down and uh, if you have any credits on the okay most of what you're saying, um probably not at all. Okay. like uh kill and reef time break here but um feel free to read your twitter account uh, out the game it's eight minutes. I'll, I'll uh, but um, delectual with safe. So for the rocky end to this, but thank you guys so much for coming. On. Thank you. Uh, and by the way, Stroke is is really nice. Uh, I really like the game. So congratulations oh. on that. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. All right. Have thank a you. good one. Thank you. Bye. 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 -bye.